I'm installing Windows Server 2019 as a virtual machine in VirtualBox, and this is supposed to be the version with the graphical user interface or desktop experience. I posted a video previously on how to find that ISO file since it's very difficult. Microsoft does not make it easy to find it. So I've got to put in the key, and fortunately Microsoft does provide that information. So there is the key, and it's posted on Microsoft's site as well. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And there we go. Previously, I did a video on how to do this installation, and at the time, they only had the core version, but now they have the desktop experience version. So we'll go ahead and click Next. We'll click the I Accept, Custom Install, and Next. This part of the installation can take anywhere from a few minutes all the way up to 30 minutes, just depending on how fast or slow your computer is, and if it's a virtual machine, how many resources you assigned it. I actually assigned this 8 gigabytes of RAM and 72 gig, uh, gigabytes of hard drive space. Um, and you could also add additional processors as well. If you're using a virtual machine software such as VirtualBox, you can go in and make those changes. The server, of course, has to be turned off when you make the changes, but you can give it additional RAM. You can also give it additional processor CPUs as well. If you're in Hyper-V, they are just virtual processors, is what they call them. Let's go ahead and cancel, and we'll just let this continue. We are booting up Windows Server 2019 graphical user interface for the first time. If you're wondering where to find the download for this, you want to go to the URL that you see at the top here, the Microsoft.com Software Download Windows Insider Preview Server. Now, there's two different types of downloads. The top download, this is for the core version. But you, if you want the one with the graphical user interface or the desktop experience, then you want to take the LTSC or long-term uh, servicing version and you can just click the download there but you have to be a member of the Windows Insider program and you basically just have to go ahead and give them your email address confirm it and then you're in so there's nothing else that you need to do and we're prompted to put in our password and now we're getting our login And there's our desktop. So far, it's not looking any different than the Windows 10 or 2016. You can see at the bottom, it's the build 17.623. And let's go ahead and take a look at what the menu looks like when we right click. I see settings has replaced control panel, just like it did in Windows 10. And this looks like the same basic type of menu this in the start menu. Let's go ahead and open up the server manager. And so far, it's not looking any different from Windows Server 2016. Let's take a look at the Tools menu. Pretty much the same options. Let's click on the Start menu. And we do see Task View, so that looks a little different. Let's go ahead and open up Settings, see what that looks like. See an option to link your Android phone. Go to System, Time and Language and Accounts, Ease of Access, etc. Let's click on System. And we see a few things here that are different. Shared Experiences, Focus Assist. These all look like things that are adding to Windows 10 as well. If I do a search for a Windows Control Panel, it does show up, so that's a good sign. Click on Large Icons, and that looks pretty much the same as well. Let's take a look at the Network and Sharing Center. And everything is mostly the same here also. Go back to our Start menu. And we don't see a lot of things installed by default. Let's take a look at the Add Roles and Features. See if there's any new roles and features that look obvious. The only one I see here is the Device Health Attestation. 
and that adds the IIS role as well. Let's click Next and go to Features. See something new called Data Center Bridging. Direct Play. See a VM shielding tool feature as well. And some biometric framework, etc. So I've got a few new things that are there. So that's a first look at the Windows Server 2019 with a GUI, and that's the build number 17623.